What's up guys? Uh, for the first time in a long time, I'm going to be bringing you guys a video of a new scape that I'm doing myself in my house. Um, it's been a while. I moved and I thought I shouldn't set anything up, but uh, the whatever you want to call it, the not being able to not do something has kicked in like hard after being in LA and scaping with some friends uh, and the company I'm going to be working with. So I've decided instead of doing a really simple uh, hill stream tank like I was doing, you can see all the round river stone, there's a bucket of it right here at my feet. I've decided that I want to do a polydarium um, with a live background. And I want to do it as simple as possible. So basically I'm going to run through really quickly how I think I want to do it as simple as possible. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys in depth each step I'm doing um, as I always do and give you guys explanations on the way of why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna put anything alive in here, except maybe some fish. Uh, it's not gonna have much water. Yeah, let's get started. All right, so starting off with materials, the, the main background is just going to be this roll of cork. I'm gonna trim that to fit above the platform I'm building. I'm gonna be building a false bottom with egg crate. Um, and that's just basically going to be a rectangle and a platform that goes all the way across, um, probably from midway in the tank, maybe a little bit further out. I haven't decided. I still have to use rock to hide it, so I may want to give myself a little bit more room. But yeah, so this is move Jimmy Daniels. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be the planting area. This is all going to get wrapped with that weed blocker. And then on the back of this, it's going to be like back here is going to be the cork. Um, oh, I forgot one piece. So as you can see, this creates a lot of fog. And there's little, you can't really see, the, the thing that I'm holding onto right now is actually like a diffuser type thing because it does splash a lot. So uh, you can see a lot of water flowing down from that as well as, you know, just being turned into fog. But, um, so this basically just creates, I'm gonna have to put this down, one sec. Creates a lot of fog and moisture throughout the tank. It has a little um, water sensor right here, so it turns off automatically. But basically what I'm gonna be doing with this is hiding the mason jar somewhere in the scape, probably behind this piece of wood here. Um, but yeah, so it's going to go in the scape somewhere and that pump that you can see back here will be pumping water up to the mason jar and main making sure the mason jar is filled so that we get the maximum amount of like mist that I want to get and so that the atomizer doesn't run dry. So yeah, that'll be hidden somewhere around here in the third area and it'll be just pumping out fog and laying down fog in the bottom section. So it should be really, really cool if I can do it. All right, so it's the next day, had to make dinner. Um, the background is all cut out. I need to, I have silicone, but I'm not sure if I wanna use this kind. And I need to find a way to like pin it up against the wall to make sure it cures properly. And then this structure is pretty much done. So I added some reinforcing around the filter thing, cause as you can kind of see, uh, not like the front layer, but the back, like panel is cut to allow for the uh, plug to come out. But yeah, just added a little bit more bracing here and there and added these little guys to make sure the soil kind of stays and doesn't overlap or fall over the side. But yeah, so I think at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and take the, the weed blocker material and wrap this thing up and then we're gonna figure out how to attach this guy to the back. All right, so this is mostly um, zip tied on here. Um, I just recently found out we have hot glue, so that kind of sucks. It would have been really easy to hot glue this stuff on. Um, but since it's sort of seeing through, I don't think it's gonna do that when it's actually in the tank. This will be saturated and it'll be a little bit darker and there's not gonna be light shining through the back of this. There's gonna be soil on the back and no light coming from the back. So I don't think that's gonna be visible, but I may, throw another layer and hot glue it on this time. Um, but we'll see. Um, and now over here, I have the tank upright and I was like, man, this is gonna be a pain 
to get this cork on to get it to stay while I silicone it. And then I remembered you can just put it on its back. I've been working with like really big tanks lately and I haven't been able to do that. So uh, it's kind of convenient to be able to just, you know, put a tank on its back. But I'm gonna go ahead and lay down a big like bead just back and forth of silicone. And then I'm gonna take some boards and lay it down flat and press it down and stick some rocks on the boards so this gets nice and siliconed up against the back. All right, so you can kind of tell the glass is a little bit dirty. Um, this is that kind of just residue that's built up over time. I don't know what exactly I should do about that. I've heard vinegar can kind of work, um, but that's gonna be like the water section anyway, so I'm not really worried about it. This needs to be clear to see the plants, so it's whatever. Um, silicone is also very ugly. But anyway, uh, this is now siliconed in place. It's really solid in there. Uh, it went well, and this is sort of, what it looks like. That white mark is um, the super glue that's showing through. It's really ugly. I may do another wrap of the, like I was saying, that's just the super glue showing through. That's gonna be hidden by all the stone when I add it, as well as some driftwood in the front, but um, I obviously still have to do that. But I figured out how to work the hot glue gun. Um, so I've got this section done. This is where the soil will go. So this is just obviously uh, gonna be hot glued up against the cork, and then I'll probably trim away the excess, and then we'll be adding all of the hardscape, basically. But yeah, so we've got a bunch of driftwood. I just got in a big order of cork, uh, like sheets, basically, not sheets, but uh, cork panels that I'll be using to kind of figure out how I wanna position the jar that'll have the atomizer in it. And yeah, just gonna be hardscaping now. All right, so to make a long story short, I don't trust this material. It's like borderline waterproof. Um, I don't think it's gonna allow the water to drain very well. So I went to a bunch of greenhouses yesterday and today and ended up grabbing one of those little like basket things, like the felt basket pot things and ended up just cutting it up because it was way easier and cheaper than buying, you know, a giant roll of it for like 80 bucks. I think it was like $9. But um, it fits in perfectly. I cut like the, the circumference of it like out and just rolled it out. It ended up fitting pretty much perfectly. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and glue this in and re-add everything else. And then I'm going to add water and test it. See how everything looks. And if everything looks good, I'll go ahead and add soil and start planting stuff. All right, guys, so um, had a pretty crazy day yesterday. There's a stick in my pocket. I don't know how that got there. Um, yeah, uh, had a pretty cra crazy day yesterday. Went to Frog Daddy, got a ton of really, really, really nice plants. I ended up spending almost $500, um, but I'll show you guys that probably in another video. Um, but going through, remember I told you guys I broke this thing. Um, the jar basically came apart and after viewing the footage, of the atomizer, I decided that I wanted to go with something different. So I pulled everything back up off of the wall, out of the water section and moved some stuff around. And so now we've got this really big 
um, bog looking piece. And then the piece that was down over here is now sort of on top of it. And these pieces all come together. This is hard to imagine what it's going to look like once it's like all in position. But imagine, um, that's supposed to be more like that. Um, the atomizer in the jar is gonna be right here. So all of this is gonna get foamed in and all of like so much of this space is gonna have peat, uh, not peat, uh, sphagnum moss on it. So this is gonna be sphagnum moss. The gaps in between all these pieces of wood will be sphagnum moss. This whole area around the jar will be sphagnum moss. This will be probably all sphagnum moss. So this will all become a planting area. So this isn't gonna look like some kind of mismatched pieces of driftwood kind of together. It's going to be covered in plants and have steam or the, the fog rolling down with bigger plants behind it. So I'm hoping it looks good when it's done. Um, because for me, it's still hard to kind of visualize, but thinking about just the logistics of it, I think it's gonna be really cool. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, rearrange, the, not rearrange, but kind of just put them back into place that kind of shifts it a little bit and foam everything in. And then I'm gonna redo the background and um, yeah, then we can add soil, we can add plants, we can fill it back up with water and we can get this thing really rolling. Foamed all that in and trimmed it away so sphagnum moss is gonna be just kind of tucked into all those little crevices. I added a few smaller branches just to add a little bit of detail. Um, I still may add something over here. I haven't decided yet. Um, but this is all going to be Java ferns down in the water section anyway. And then we added all of this cork. And in the gaps, I'll be able to jam sphagnum moss in all of these like little spots so that we can attach plants and grow stuff up there. Um, added all, obviously these branches and stuff and secured this one. But um, yeah, I'm very, very happy with it. I've got the atomizer set to the proper height. Um, Got the cord, ran, as you can see behind the cork. That was really annoying because I forgot to run the cord before I put that cork in. Um, but yeah, so now I'm gonna go ahead. I don't have the soil, it's in my girlfriend's car. I left it in there. But I'm gonna go ahead and add the water, turn on the pump and turn the atomizer on and see what it looks like. So yeah, I think uh, the plan worked. This looks nuts. And as of now, the fog isn't at like full level basically because a lot of it is basically pooling in here. So once we add soil, that'll make sure everything that rolls off the back, you can sort of see it pouring out back there, like just barely, maybe if I zoom a little. Yeah, you can kind of see it. But um, so once we add the soil, everything that rolls off will immediately get like rolled out and out into the front section as opposed to just like gathering up there. So it'll be like twice as much fog. Um, if it gets really bad, like this looks great to me, but if it gets more than this, we're definitely gonna have to put it on a timer. But basically the next step is to add the sphagnum moss and add the soil, but the soil is not here and plant the water section. We've got a bunch of java ferns that I want to throw down there. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, there might not be enough water, but with this amount of humidity, I bet they'll grow out of the water, like just around here. I think that would be really cool. But yeah. All right, guys, so I'm gonna call the video there. I'm gonna do a part two for the video, obviously. I did a lot of really cool stuff. I'm standing in front of the tank right now. I did a lot of really cool stuff for the tank, like a moss mix that gets painted on, uh, specific soil from Frog Daddy. A lot of really, really cool plants have gone into this setup. Um, and it's very, very, very beautiful. So next video is gonna have all of that stuff and an update on how far everything has come. So stay tuned, that video will be coming out at some point, I don't know when, but I will be doing a video on that soon. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.